Hello and welcome back to school again. Uh, this is Mr. Brown. So what we're going to be doing over the next couple of weeks in both engineering and STEM solutions is since I know all of you don't have a big lab full of equipment at home, uh, we're going to be trying to come up with some things, activities that you can do at your house. So using household items and we're going to be coming up with some fun challenges and design projects that we can work on. So our first one is our phone stand challenge. So what you're going to be doing is using household items to create your own little phone stand. Uh, if you don't want to make a phone stand, you could turn it into a book stand, stand for a notebook, something like that. But some kind of stand to hold an item. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just go through this slideshow pretty quickly. I'll go over the directions and everything. And then as we go forward, I'll go more in depth onto all the steps to help you out, give you some ideas and everything. Um, anything that you do, we will help you out with. It will You send it to us, we'll send you feedback, uh, give you some ideas on how to improve it, make it a little bit better. So let's just have some fun with it while we're all stuck here. All right, so get going. So this phone stand challenge slideshow should be on Classroom, and I'm going to go through the steps on it. There are 18 slides and so here we go. So step one. So first of all this whole thing is going to be following kind of the engineering design process. So if you don't remember the engineering design process you start out with your problem. What is your problem? Come up with some solutions. Make your prototype. Test it out. Make improvements. All that fun stuff. So our problem right now is we are creating a phone stand. Step one, identify the problem. Using only household items, design and construct a phone stand that is stable and aesthetically pleasing. That stand must allow a phone to be placed both vertically and horizontally. Important, you may not purchase any item for the construction of this project. The whole part of the challenge is we're going to be doing this from home. So it has to be stable, meaning it has to hold up your phone. It can't fall over and it has to be aesthetically pleasing. Aesthetically pleasing means it's pretty to look at. So it looks cool. You want something that looks cool. All right, we're gonna further define our problem. So the who, what, where, when, whys, and hows. So as you go over through this whole process, you won't have all these answers right away, but these are things to keep in the back of your head as you're going through it. What is its purpose? Well, it's a phone stand. Who is it for? Is it for me? Is it for somebody else? When do you need it by? That might be how much effort you put into it. Uh, where will it be used? Why are you making it? And how are you going to make it? So we'll break those down a little bit further. Right now, I'm just going to go on over the direction. Step two, research and brainstorm solutions. Students can search for phone stand ideas via the internet, look at phone stands in your home, or just start brainstorming by sketching ideas on paper. Sketches are freehand drawings done with paper, pencil, and eraser. Draw it in either 2D or 3D and keep it simple. When you're finished, you'll take a picture of your sketches with a phone or scan it in, and you'll add it to the slideshow here. So you'll make a copy of the slideshow. If you can't take a picture of it, or if you can't send it in or if you don't have a phone and you want to make it with for a, a book stand or something else uh, just do the best you can just work with us we'll work with you all right so it can be two-dimensional or three-dimensional so when we get into drawing I know we've seen this a lot one of the big challenges for drawings is how do you get a three-dimensional object onto a two-dimensional piece of paper Remember, you can draw it at an angle like this. This is your isometric view, or you can draw it, break it into your top, front, and side view like this. That's called your orthographic view. This first one is just a quick sketch. Don't worry if it doesn't look pretty. Don't worry if you can't break it down into that. It's just your brainstorming ideas is just where you're dumping all of your ideas out. It doesn't have to look pretty. Step three, select a solution and build a prototype. So using only household items, construct a working prototype. So remember, your prototype is just a model, just kind of a quick throw it together, see how it works kind of thing. 
You need to get creative with materials since you may not have everything you need. Do not purchase any items. Again, the whole challenge is we're doing this from home. Keep it simple. Look in your recycle bin for paper products like cardboard, cereal boxes, newspaper. If you don't have tape or glue, find other ways to interlock your pieces hold them together. When you're done with that one, you will take a picture of your prototype without the phone sitting on it. Add your image to the prototype ideas slide. This is where you'll add that. Step four, test your prototype. Place your phone in your working prototype both horizontally and vertically. See how well it fits on both of them. So when you're finished, you'll take a picture of your working prototype with the phone in both the vertical and horizontal positions. Again, I realize a lot of you take pictures with your phone and therefore it's hard to put a phone on there and take a picture with your phone. You'll figure it out. All right, you may also add a short little video of it. Should be no longer than 10 seconds and then add that to here for slide 10. Step five, evaluate and possibly redesign. Now that you have tested your working prototype, does it work? There's always room for improvement, even if it supports the phone. Think about how the stability of your design and the aesthetics, or how cool it looks. Did you solve those problems? Is there another element you could add to your design? Can a phone charger cable be easily attached to your phone while it's supported? Could you figure out a way to amplify the sound when it's in your stand playing music or watching a video? On the next slide, you'll list any improvements or modifications that you're planning to do to improve your design. You'll add those here, just type them out. And then we build it. So step six, now that you have thought about the ways to improve your design, you're gonna build a final. You're gonna use better craftsmanship in either the same or different materials. So you're gonna take more time to do it. If you're making any big changes, consider making a sketch and another prototype or just go for it. When you are done, you'll take a picture of your final solution with a phone in it in the vertical and the horizontal positions. You may also add a short little video, should be no longer than 10 seconds, and you'll add those videos or vi uh, images to the next slide right here. So here's the bonus activity. If you want to, there is a website called Tinkercad. Tinkercad is a 3D modeling software. You can, but it's all based online. It is created by Autodesk, who's the same company that makes Inventor and uh, Fusion that you could use up in high school. Uh, but what you'll have to do is create an account with your fcpsschools.net account. And you, what you'll do is you'll click here, which will bring you to a login screen. You're gonna click create a personal account. You're gonna sign in with Google and use your regular ID number at fcpsschools.net and that will log in with Google. There are some tutorials to watch right here on this link right here. And then if you're done with that and you like it, you can take a screenshot of your Tinkercad model and add it to the design slide below here. So you're finished. You can turn it in when you are done on Google Classroom. That way we can provide you with any feedback and you know see how it goes you can make it better you can make something useful that you'll be using for years so just as a quick recap I'll show you some of the examples right here so these are also on classroom so here's one example identify the problem so here's your brainstorming just a really quick sketch doesn't have to be anything fancy it's just get your ideas down onto paper so we can move on, build your prototype. So this is just cardboard cut up, taped together real quick so you can see how it's gonna work. Testing out the prototype, any improvements, build it, make the final. Example two, quick prototype or quick uh, brainstorm ideas. Prototype, just a folded piece of paper, doesn't have to be anything super fancy. Prototype tested. The final. 
in the 3D model right there. Example three, brainstorm. You can see this one, they decided to use popsicle sticks to throw it all together. So you're getting creative with whatever type of materials you can find around the place. That's a prototype. Prototype being tested. And then the final right there. So when you're done with that, you'll again upload that onto Classroom. We'll give you some feedback. In the next video, I'm going to break down kind of how I would go through this process. If I was going to design a phone stand myself, I'll give you some examples right here as well. But that's, uh, again, just more optional, more in-depth stuff that we can go into.